Puerto Ricans, so-called Puerto Ricans. Y'all actually led all of the tribes from here down to America first. Y'all actually are the original owners of this Western Hemisphere. That's right. Y'all had all the buffalo and oxen y'all could have. But then the conquistadors came, there's many pictures of them mounds and mounds of dead buffalo, dead cattle. They killed them so they could starve your people out. Then they killed so many, they needed us to replace y'all to build up the rest of America because they killed so many of them. Okay, good deal, good deal. So you said you've known you're an Israelite for, you said about three years? It's so about... I, I, I'm the, I, was, I was told to come, my brother told me to come down town and basically... And talk to us. us. They told y'all to, 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 to put me on point with the book of the Wasp and put me on point with the uh, Confucius and all that. Okay. And all the books I did. books I went to Barn Noble, got a little book called Book of Barnabas and two cents two in that book. Like, so all those different books that had nothing to do with the Bible? Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to help you out. That's why he sent you here. He sent you down here to talk to us because maybe he understood, hey, these brothers will help you out or answer your question. That's what we here to do. So let me get that in Ecclesiastes. Uh, got the mountain of many books. Read that real quick. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished and, ma and making many books. So there's always going to be a whole lot of books, you know. Right. There is no end, uh -huh. and much study is a weariness of the flesh. He said much studying of all these books are the weariness of the flesh, meaning you're going to be confused. You're going to walk around confused. You've known you in Israelite for three years. So is any other book like the Bible on the planet Earth? Yeah. What book? Uh, other religions. Aren't like what? Hindu, Hebrew. Now, Islam, I got a question for you. For any of those, so you got Hindu, Hinduism, and I know people like say Islam and things like that, right? Do they give you any prophecies about our people? No, because we don't come from there. Okay. Hold where you at. Matter of fact, no, we're going to read that first. Read this. Listen to what the Bible says because he said he does not believe that Christ was crucified. But we're reading about God, the one that created heaven and earth, and he sent his son down to die for a certain race of people, not everybody either. Right. Read that. Acts chapter 5 and verse 30. Yep. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. That's what God said happened to his son. He was slew, he was killed and hanged on a tree. That, that, that's, he was crucified is what it's saying. Read on. Him hath God exalted with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince and a savior. So Christ died to be a prince and a savior. Read. For to give repentance to Israel. Not to the whole world, only to one race of people. That's right. That's why our people don't really believe in the Bible and they'll say everything else because that's what the world says. So we don't read the Bible. So, so, but, but that's exactly what our people do. They run with what they're being told. Because they'll say, because they'll say Christ didn't die. Christ, he didn't get crucified. Like my sister right here said, Christ ain't coming back. Now, my sister, you believe in history? Yeah. You believe in history? 
Do you believe there is a book on the earth that told us that our people would go into slavery thousands of years before it happened and it did? What other what book does what that? Oh, I don't know what book. I just know you know we bound to repeat history. No, 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 not repeat history. It didn't happen until it was written, oh, and then it happened thousands of years after it was said to happen. Do you know a book that says that me and your people, we would end up in this slavery right here? Do you know of a book that said this will happen to us thousands of years before it actually happened? I'm saying, oh, do you no, know a book no. that does that? Oh, no. Now, if we read that out of the Bible and it was true that it was going to happen, and then it did, when it says that Christ is also going to come back, wouldn't that be in there true too at that point? Because the same thing our people thought, you know what, we ain't going to go into slavery on slave ships. No, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. That's what our people believed. And then it did. So we're going to read Deuteronomy 28, 15. Watch this. Watch this. And what's your name? Lex. Lex. All praises. Nice to meet you, Lex. I'm Aton. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it said, it shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen in the future. Read. And this is Moses talking to the Israelites. Only one race of people. He's not talking to the whole world. He's only talking to the Israelites. Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. So if y'all don't keep the commandments, that because remember, they, he let them out of Egypt. They crossed the Red Sea, right? right? They came out from under Pharaoh. They walked across the Red Sea. He went and got the commandments and gave them to the people. Then he said, if you don't do them, this is what's going to happen. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So there's going to be curses to come upon us. How you doing, my sister? You know, you, you know, what's your race, my sister? What's your race? Okay, how old are you if you don't mind me asking? Listen, if you don't mind me asking. Okay, so me, I'm, you're 40, I'm 39. Me and you are older than the term African-American by three, four years. So what is your race? Because I was not called an African American when I was born. What black? That's not a race either. That's the color of your jacket. You see how you see how all this stuff is crazy that they call us now. You're not an African American. You're not Puerto Rican. You're not a rich port. No. That's what that means. <laughs> that's not that's not a race at all. These are white names that they put on our people to call us random names. When your real biblical name is Ephraim and yours is Judah. That's who y'all are. So now, read on. So it said if we don't, so I'm explaining our race out of the Bible. Because you go to church at all? Go to church on Sunday? And on Sunday, the pastor never told you what your race is because you're walking around saying African-American and he's never taught you what the Bible said your race was. But we're reading it out of the Bible. Didn't slavery happen to you? To your people? To my people? To her people? His people? All of us out here, right? So we're reading it out of the Bible what name those people were called. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it says, if we did not keep the commandments, curses was going to come up on us and overtake us. Read verse 30. Read. Verse 30. Thou shalt be taught thy wife, and another man shall lie with her. So in slavery, if I had a wife, what was happening to my wife, Lex? Huh? She would go she would go into slavery, and what and what would happen? Read that again. Read, listen up. Thou shalt be taught a wife. And another man shall lie with her. What was they doing to our wives? They was doing what? So the slave master would come and take my wife and sleep with him. Read on. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Didn't we build up America? Didn't we build up this whole western hemisphere? And we don't live in the best places. Other races do. I need to see the sister. I need to see the sister face. I need to see your face, Lex. I'm sorry. I got to talk to you. I'm talking to you. All right. So this right here says that we would build up houses and not live in them. Did that happen to me and your people? Read on. Thou shalt plant a vineyard and shall not gather the grapes thereof. Didn't we plant vineyards and fields and stuff? Did we eat the food of it? We had to give it to another race of people to eat it. Read on. Verse 31. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes. Now, the Puerto Ricans, so-called Puerto Ricans, y'all actually led 
all of the tribes from here down to America first. Y'all actually are the original owners of this Western Hemisphere. That's right. Y'all had all the buffalo and oxen y'all could have. But then the conquistadors came, there's many pictures of them mounds and mounds of dead buffalo, dead cattle. They killed them so they could starve your people out. They killed so many of you, 77 million, approximately, or matter of fact, probably more than that, that's just the number they put. Then they killed so many, they needed us to replace y'all to build up the rest of America because they killed so many of you. So then they called these three and brought these three over here to build up the rest of America. But your people led these tribes all over here. And then they took your animals from you by force. Then they killed us. That's why I said you're going to do what with their oxen again. Read. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eye. They was killing them, starving you out. Did that happen? That is historical fact. But this said it shall happen. It didn't happen yet at that point in time. So it's telling you this is going to happen in the future if y'all don't keep the commandments of the Lord. Read on. And thou shalt not eat thereof. Uh -huh. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face. And, all the, and you had donkeys to till the land. Absolutely. Understood. So now, you get a flyer. Did you get a flyer? So check out the flyer. Because you are an Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim, Lex. That's who you are. That's right. All right. Read on. And shall not be restored to thee. And you will not have your animals restored to you. There was no resp respirations for our people. None. God said it will not be given to you. But don't we got political leaders trying to fight for reparations and stuff like that? Right. Has it happened yet? No, sir. But what about the Chinese man? Didn't they get reparations? And what about the Israeli people for, what was it, six years of nonsense, of bull crap that they was doing to themselves? White on white, and they get reparations from each other. You can't make this stuff up. Mind you, we the ones built up America. Where's ours at? God said you ain't getting it. Right. Because we want to play around. We don't. We want to, hey, you know what? I, you know, I, some things I believe, some things I don't. That's what the white people taught us. That's why we are destroyed. That's why we die. That's why we walk around, playing around with the Bible, because we think, oh, it's not that important to me. And then the cycle just gets worse and worse and worse. Because I got a question for you. You got children? You got any kids? How old are you? 30. You 30 years old. You was in prison for how long? Three years, you say, right? Three and a half. Or two, two and a, three and a half on a yard and 15 months straight and six months. All right, so pretty much four, a little bit over four years. About four and a half years. Now, a lot of our young men, because he would be considered a young man, a lot of our young men went to prison. A lot of them ain't make it home, a lot of them days. Right, a lot of them don't make it out of there. But a lot of them go to prison and miss out on their whole life and, and, and start. And then the, you got a whole system that is literally made to put them right back in prison. Let's get that limitations. Four. Because we're going to read that. Because this whole system is rigged to where we relying on these people for different stuff. And it's not going to happen. Until we keep the commandments, it's going to be a repeat. Over and over again. You're going to have children. And if you don't do, look, Lord willing, you have a wife and children. If you do not do what God said, you're going to look at your son and daughter do the exact same thing you did. That's what's going to happen. You said not your kids? Do you have children? How old are they? Now, the, does your daughter and son, do they know they're Israelites? Yes. Do they keep the commandments? They read the Holy Bible. No, no. Do they keep yes. the yes. commandments? Yes. Is, is, so they keep the Sabbath day where they don't buy, cook, and sell. They so dress. They, do your daughter wear right. pants? No. Your daughter doesn't wear pants ever? No. Now, I asked that. How you doing, my sister? <laughs> oh, praises. Oh, praises. And so you say your children keep the commandments, but you don't keep the commandments. Uh, now we have brothers in our congregation that's actually in the military now keeping the commandments. Okay. So it's certain things you didn't know, and your kids were not taught it. So they don't know. 
They don't know everything. Okay. Everything else, but I don't know everything. Right. Uh, we don't claim to know everything either. Uh -huh. One, I don't do division. Well, I do division because God came in to divide. But the thing is, I don't do titles. Titles don't do create titles. inferiority amongst each other. So you believe that you don't do? All you, I know is do you I'm believe human. that God created inferi inferiority un under everybody? Oh, definitely. So wait, why wouldn't you do it then? He created everything. Let's get that. Do Romans seventy six. He created everything. So listen. So listen. So so why in the world would you say I, I don't do division because I don't want to do titles? Because I don't want anybody to seem like they're above someone else. But what if God said there is a certain people that is above everybody else? Is God wrong? Excuse me. I said, I corrected myself. Okay. I said, I do do division because God created division amongst. Okay. Anyway, but I don't do titles because they create inferiority. So you don't do race names? Uh, yeah, and titles. Okay, so if yeah. you're an Israelite, you don't want to be called that. Is that what you're saying? I'm just asking. I just rather be called the chosen child of God. Okay, but what the chosen people of God was called Israelites. That's right. That's right. So if you're saying I don't want to be called an Israelite, what you're saying, I don't want to be your daughter, Lord. That's what you're saying. Enlighten me. Right. All praises to the most high. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. But thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Go to Deuteronomy 1 and 1 so she'll know what God called these people. He gave them a name. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So they were called Israel. To be an Israelite, that's who you are. This is who Moses is talking about, 7 and 6 now. So now remember who he's talking to the whole time. It has not changed. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Read up. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Israelites, you are an holy people unto God. A separate people. Holy means you're separated from everybody. Right. But if we don't do titles, how we know who's who? That means you're just like you're trying to compare yourself and set yourself up to be like everybody else. I don't do titles. God does. Right. That's God right. gave us the name Israel. Right. Meaning we got the power with God. Right. Not nobody else. That's really. right. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. How are you going to be special if you don't want to be called special? Bring it out. How, that's crazy. I don't, I don't want to be called special. I don't want to be, don't call, call me like everybody else. Call me normal. God said you're special unto him. How are you going to say I don't want to be that because I don't want to be called by the special name he gave me? Give me I'm going to finish the scripture. Read. Okay. Above all people. No, no. We're equal to all people. Above all people uh -huh. that are upon the face of the earth. If you don't do the title of Israelite, how are you considered above everybody? Bring it out. Agreed. You're denying it is what happens. A lot of our people, and I'm not bashing you. A lot of our people do what you just did because the world told them everybody's the same. Right. Well, if it was so equal, what the heck happened here? If we're so equal, what happened here? Even now, why we don't get the same pay as everybody else? Why do we have the most degrees and, get, and don't get paid the most money? Wait, but we're equal. We don't do titles. We like everybody else, everybody. Everybody will like you. We're fighting for equal rights. God didn't say that. God gave you a name that is above everybody else's. He gave you the ability that is above everybody else's. He made you smarter than everybody else. Not, he made you better than everybody else. Everybody. And our people want to say, no, nah, I want to be equal to them. What you're saying when you say that, you're saying, Lord, I do not want to be your child. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart, 
The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.